Now for one of the most important lines, I think, and that is one that travels across the Tilikum Crossing. Again, I know that I know the A and B loops already travel across Tilikum Crossing, but yeah. So this would go up and down 10th Avenue. Oh, this line is called P.O. Powell. It would travel, let me get this less cluttery looking. It would travel up and down 10th Avenue, and it would loop on 11th Avenue. So basically all this, all existing stuff down the waterfront, south waterfront, it would cross Tillicum Crossing and serve not the streetcars water and OMSI stop, but the Orange Line stop at OMSI Southeast Water, and then it would continue down the Orange Line right-of-way down to, I believe, this first place, or first first um, street here at 8th Avenue. It would come down 8th Avenue. I believe this is how I did it. Well, I'll, I'll put a, a map on screen of how it got there later, but it basically comes down here and ends up on Powell Boulevard, which it's not labeling as Powell Boulevard, but... oh. But it is, Southeast Powell Boulevard. It would stay on Powell for a while, and again, it would probably be able to connect you from here, from the west side of the river, all the way down Powell Boulevard to I-205, where you could transfer to the Max Green Line here at the Southeast Powell Boulevard Green Line Station. And it would probably just go into a single track and then come back out um, or it could go a little bit further if you wanted to go down to the Powell Garage as well, right here, uh, then you could. Um, but yeah, either either one would be fine. What? What is that? Okay, what? <laughs> this looks weird, it's creepy just kind of out of place and then when it comes back it's pretty much just the same it just takes Powell all the way back the tracks pretty much run next to each other the whole way except for on the west side and it's already just going to be using existing tracks on the west side of the river okay oh that's the Ross Island Bridge so yeah so you got to be careful comes up Milwaukee Avenue so now here's a, a list of all of the different turns that it takes Okay, well, I feel a bit dumb now because I missed a very major streetcar line that I can't fully believe I missed. Believe. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's BW, Broadway, pretty much as it sounds. Now, it literally takes Broadway the whole way as much as it can. So, it would start in a very strange spot. It's a very long route. It starts here where the park blocks end. But actually over here, see here's Broadway right here, it comes all the way down here. So it would be at Southwest Jackson and Park Avenue at the South Park Blocks and PSU. Then it would come up, this is actually not a street, so there would just be tracks here, there's no street here. The street begins here at Market, whatever. So it would keep going up here at Park Avenue. And, yeah, and then it goes to the North Park blocks. There's a few of those, too. And then at Northwest Flanders Street, or, I, yeah, at Northwest Flanders Street, the tracks would take a right onto there, or, wait a second, I think, and it would take a left onto Broadway, because at that point, Broadway becomes a two-way street. So that's pretty interesting. So then it stays on Broadway Street and takes, see, the normal streetcar route actually comes in from this way off of Lovejoy Street, but we're coming up this way, so there's two different routes now that can go over the Broadway Bridge. This is, again, this is all my route. It would serve the existing stops on Widler and Broadway, and if the Hollywood District line were ever open, it would be using those too, because, see, we're beyond that now. And, yeah, it would pretty much just take Broadway all the way to however far you wanted. You could, you really could even have it go more this way. 
you could have it, you know, Broadway gets pretty narrow here, and it turns into a bit of a neighborhood. Yeah, you could just have them both end at the Hollywood District. Man, it's just all houses through here. How far does Broadway... Okay, it becomes Jonesmore Street. So yeah, you probably wouldn't want it going that far. So you would just have it also ending at the Hollywood Transit Center Station. Um, wherever that is. Oh, over here. So yeah, it would be taking that to the Hollywood Transit Center as well. So you'd have the, the HD Hollywood District Line and BW Broadway Lines both ending at the Hollywood Transit Center. Then, I have three north, four actually, north-south streetcar lines. The first one is a bit, oh, and also, I'm sorry, before I finish, the Broadway line would come down Northwest Broadway Street, and it would just stay on Northwest Broadway Street the whole way, and you'd be able to transfer to Max at the street, at the Pioneer Square station. Um... And it ends down at Broadway, and Jackson turns that corner, and then it just goes all the way back. Okay, I have three north-south streetcar lines. Again, four, sorry. Uh, second to <laughs> think you learned from your mistake the first time. Um, the first one is called VW. No, it is not Volkswagen. No, they are not a sponsor. It is... Vancouver and Williams Avenues. I have no idea where these would start. I can't even find those avenues. One moment. There we are. Vancouver and Williams Avenues. I have no idea where these would start. I don't remember. But maybe I'll put a thing up here. Here's Killingsworth. This seems like a major area. It would probably be something like that. So it would come from Killingsworth all the way down through here. Uh, Williams is the northbound street, and Vancouver is the southbound street. So it would basically just be a very simple streetcar line running on Vancouver and Williams Avenues, which is why it's called VW. It's, it's that. The A and B loop streetcar, by the way, would probably just be called the GM streetcar for Grand and MLK. Um... Now, when you get to this point, when you get to around the Broadway Bridge area... Vancouver and Williams Avenue, it becomes Wheeler Avenue, and it just becomes a one thing around here. We're behind the Moda Center now, and it would end probably somewhere over here, or maybe it would cross the Max tracks and end up on Interstate Avenue somehow, or Lloyd Boulevard, or whatever. But for now, I believe I had it end here at Wheeler and Multnomah Street and Moda Center, Rose Quarter Transit Center. It's not a real long line, um, but yeah, it, 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 it would serve a purpose. I mean, especially when events are going on at the Moda Center or Memorial Coliseum. The next line is on is called 39 as it runs on 39th Avenue. Well, 39th Avenue is Cesar Chavez Boulevard or Cesar Chavez Boulevard. It would start somewhere near here, maybe Sandy Boulevard somewhere. I really don't know yet. All when I put that list of state list of turns and directions on there, then I'll have it all figured out. But basically it comes down the this road the whole way it just literally that's all it does it goes through this roundabout apparently it's called co circle did not know that uh yeah it just pretty much goes through here serves some stops on there you can transfer to other streetcar lines that was belmont so that's an easy way to transfer to the mb line here's hawthorne boulevard so same thing 
And I think, if this is the line I think it is, I think I remember how I ended it now. There's Division, which does not have any streetcars, but it will have the BRT lines. Uh, okay, so here's Powell. So what I think I did, if this was the line, I think I had it come down Powell, and then down some random street over here, and it ended at this Creston Park. So maybe if you had the streetcar tracks on Powell like that, you'd have two streetcar tracks on Powell, and then there would be a pocket track, a third track, a center track, that these streetcars would end in. The other streetcar line is probably the longest streetcar line. I think I said that about the Sandy Boulevard one, but this is probably equally as long. Because it would start up here at around Sandy Boulevard. It's line 82. So it's this is 82, 82. It runs on 82nd Avenue, which is Highway 213. Major route. It actually might start somewhere up here at Highway 30 and where all that is, or even Columbia Boulevard, or even closer to the airport. Like, seriously, it could go a long ways. And it just literally comes straight down 82nd Avenue, serves Sandy Boulevard. You could transfer to SB lines there. Um, it, yeah, it serves the 82nd Avenue Max Station for blue, green, and red lines. Uh, it serves Burnside for BU line streetcars. Um, yeah. Additional lines. Division Street, you could transfer to the BRT line there. Powell Boulevard, you'd be able to transfer to PO line streetcars there. And what is this? This looks like a shopping center. What's this called? Eastport Plaza. I've heard of that. It could either end there, or you could have it even continue further. But the thing is, if you have it continuing to, like, Clackamas Town Center, for example, then you're, you're basically mirroring what the Max Green Line is doing, and so you're kind of creating a com 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 competition, a competitive... Com you get what I'm trying to say. You know, there'd be two lines competing and doing basically the same route, and one of them is clearly going to get you there faster, whereas the streetcar might be a little bit more convenient because the stops are closer together and because you can transfer to other streetcar lines. So it could probably end somewhere around Holgate. There's just an unnamed park here. Um, oh, it's actually a cemetery. But yeah, having it end at this mall, Eastport Plaza, that would probably work. Or you could have it go as far as you want. Here's Foster Road. You could even end it there. Now, I've probably left at least one streetcar line off of there. Seriously, it was very lengthy. Uh, a lot of future... I, it, see, it, this is if I were to be hired on at Portland Streetcar, Inc. to be um, planning for what, what I think Portland Streetcar should do and the direction I see them going in, this is that. Um... Will they actually do that? Probably not. But if they did, man, Portland Streetcar would definitely have the most expanded streetcar network in North America, even beating Toronto's streetcar system, um, which is the current largest.
now I will put a map, a very rough map up of what I see, Port the direction I see Portland going in in the future as far as the streetcar lines go. And uh, then here's also a downtown map of all of the streetcar lines. The black circular, the black dots you see on this map are all the max lines. Those are the, the current max lines, how they are right now. Um, but all the other lines are streetcar lines. I, I color-coded them because I had my own system of color coding. So the green streetcars being ones that are currently being planned and studied. The dark blue are ones that I came up with a year ago, the really major ones. And then some of the ones I thought of later, some of the more minor ones, are in that lighter blue-gray color. I've been holding my camcorder for so long that my hands are glowing red practically. I need to stop doing this video. <laughs> I've been doing this way too long. But yeah, I just want to show you how my mind works. If I want to update the Max or Streetcar videos of my planning like I've basically done here, then I absolutely will. Um, and check back for cards or check back in the description for more information. And sorry to have overloaded your brain, but I would go through certain sections of this streetcar video or the Max video and put it side by side with Google Maps and then just follow those routes and see if they make sense to you the way that they make sense to me. Um, I know I understand that streetcars are a lot about oh development. Can we do, can we bring can we build buildings near develop you know de transit oriented development? But I don't think that should be the number one focus. I think it should just be a good transit system and the development will come in as as that happens um so that's that's why i'm not looking at oh what are places that are underdeveloped or whatever i'm just building lines if you want to go a little more in depth and look at the technical side of things what i would suggest doing is look at TriMet's frequent service list of buses and see which one of those are the busiest. Out of those, make those streetcar lines. Because yeah, you can get 60 foot buses, yeah, you can make BRT services, but it's still a bus. And buses are limited. They only have doors on one side. Even a 60 foot bus does not have the same capacity as Portland streetcar vehicles. They are slightly less. And streetcars are a lot more comfortable and they're a lot smoother. Like I would rather hold on when I'm on a streetcar than on a bus any day. Um, so yeah, that's the way I, that's the direction I see Portland streetcar going in. Um, that's, that's where I would go with it. However, uh, will they ever get that way? Probably not. Once it gets to that point, if cities like Gresham or Hillsborough end up getting populations over 200,000, then heck, even those cities could probably benefit from a streetcar line as well. So, thank you for watching all of this. I gotta go now.